Several turbocharged motorcycles have been developed to date, but none have achieved just the right blend between weight, power, and performance. Until now, that combination has remained out of the reach of engineers. Until now, that is. Our original prototype, tested in January 1981, started out as a 650. The test results would have easily placed it ahead of current 650 turbos, but this wasn't good enough for Kawasaki. Returning to the drawing boards, we redesigned our turbo around our bulletproof 750 inline four. Utilizing a compact, high-performance turbocharger, our next prototype was introduced in November 1981. Further refinements finally led to the ultimate in turbocharged machines, the Kawasaki 750 Turbo. rink in Austria, journalists from around the world attended the unveiling of the new Kawasaki machine, putting the new turbo through standing 400 meter sprints in an impressive 11.2 seconds. Later, American rider Pee Wee Gleason slashed this to 10.71 seconds for the quarter mile, making the Kawasaki 750 turbo the world's quickest production motorcycle. The press inspected the new machine with care. Some of the outstanding features are already Kawasaki standards, but others are production firsts. With its integral aluminum frame member, the fairing is designed to provide superb aerodynamics and maximize engine cooling efficiency. Our race-proven Unitrack suspension assures unsurpassed tire adhesion and ride response while enhancing rider comfort. In back, a box section aluminum swing arm cuts unsprung weight. The exclusive eccentric cam adjusters on the axle are the same kind used on our race bikes. There's also a powerful rear disc and Michelin tubeless tire. The sealed O-ring chain is silicone lubricated. A redesigned anti-dive system and dual disc brakes lead the way, and our second generation digital fuel injection system instantaneously computes the proper fuel rate for any situation. In conventional engines, a large amount of energy is carried away as exhaust gas and wasted. Turbocharging harnesses this energy and uses it to force a higher volume of air through the engine, increasing its effective displacement. Kawasaki's turbocharger is placed directly under the exhaust ports in front of the engine block. Such proximity reduces turbo lag to an absolute minimum, and because the center of gravity is low, handling is improved. To shorten the induction path, the air cleaner has been placed on the left side of the engine without affecting the lean angle. With the introduction of the Kawasaki 750 Turbo, the full potential of turbocharged motorcycles has finally been realized. On the track, the journalists tried to push the machine to its limits, thoroughly testing the engine, suspension, frame, and brakes. We asked some of the world's best-known motorcycle writers for their appraisal of the new turbo from Kawasaki. Very nice. It's really, really good on the racetrack. It's a lot nicer to ride than the GPZ 1100 because it has it's much less weight, the brakes work better, has better tires on it, and more cornering clearance. So you can actually ride it faster under 99% of the conditions in the 1100. And I know it's running on 1100 following the turbos are just as quick. 1100 will pick up on it, top gear maybe 90 to 100 miles an hour. And the turbo is just as quick all the rest of the time. It's the most successful turbo that I've ridden. So it's really good. Uh, it's a very good bike. It's got the power of the GPZ 1100 with the handling of a 750. It's a sporty bike. It's really great. It's, it's easy to handle and it's a very quick. 
a fast sporting machine. It's the best turbo. It's uh, an extremely fast motorcycle. It doesn't seem to uh, have turbo lag. It just seems to get faster and faster and faster. It's unanimous. Kawasaki has produced the world's best turbocharged motorcycle. patiently to perfect design and performance characteristics, we have proved once again that Kawasaki delivers. Classic lines, Kawasaki reliability, and all-out performance. The Kawasaki 750 Turbo, built for speed.